Well, good morning. This is Pastor Keith Hodges, and I want to welcome you today to Every Day Sunday. And I want to encourage you uh, to continue to pray for our nation. Let's continue to pray for the election process. Uh, and my prayer is I'm asking God to expose every work of fraud and to bring into the light uh, anything that is being hidden in darkness. And so I just want to encourage you as we continue to stand for our nation, speak life and speak blessing over the United States of America. And I hope you join me and let's continue to declare that we are one nation under God and that as for me and my house, right, we will serve the Lord. Well, today I want to share with you a message entitled God's Roundabout. I don't know if you've ever driven through a roundabout. I think they're very popular, of course, over in Europe, uh, but we have those here in America and you drive around the little circle and you have multiple roads uh, that come into one intersection. Instead of being what we would consider a four-way stop or traffic light, there's literally a roundabout and you drive in a circle until you get to the exit or the road that you need to take and then you take the road that is purpose for you. And so today I want to talk to you about the idea that God has a roundabout. God has a a roundabout way of getting us to the places he wants us to be if we are faithful to follow him. And sometimes God's path is not the shortest, it's not the quickest, and it's not the easiest. But I want to hear you, I want you to hear me today, and I'm going to say this again. Uh, God's path is always the best path. So it may not be the shortest path, the quickest path, or the easiest, but if you're following God, you're always on the best path. For your life. So let's look in Exodus 13. It's the children of Israel. They're coming out of Egyptian bondage. And the Bible says this. It says, when, fi when Pharaoh finally let the people go, God did not lead them along the main road that runs through the Philistine territory, even though it was the shortest route to the promised land. So think about that. God did not lead them on the main road. Sometimes God takes us on a detour. Sometimes God likes to take a back road. Sometimes God likes to lead us not the quickest route, not the shortest route, not the easiest route, and we're going to find out why in just a minute, but God takes us on a roundabout journey to get us to the place he wants us to be. So look at this. The Bible says he did not take them on that road, even though it was the shortest route to the promised land. God said, if my people are faced with a battle, they might change their minds and return to Egypt. So God led them in a roundabout way, in a roundabout way through the wilderness toward the Red Sea. Thus the Israelites left Egypt like an army ready for battle. So let me say it again. Sometimes God will lead us around things. Hear me. God will lead us around things that we're not ready for in order to bring us to the thing that he has promised and planned for us. So sometimes God has a roundabout. Sometimes God takes us on a detour. Sometimes God loves not the quickest path, but the scenic path to get us prepared for the thing that he wants for us. And so God said to the children of Israel that he did not lead them down the road that went through the Philistine country because he was afraid that they would not be ready for battle. So he knew he wanted to get them to the promised land, but he also knew that if they were confronted too quickly with a battle, they would not be ready to respond to what was in front of them. And they might, because of fear, run back to bondage in Egypt. And I want you to understand, if you're truly following the Lord and you're seeking his direction on a daily basis and you're letting his word and his spirit be your guide, then I want to encourage you in something. Don't be discouraged when you don't go the shortest path. Don't be discouraged when the doors don't open as quickly as you think they should open because hear me today, God is good, amen? God is good and God is always watching out for the well-being of his people. And God wants to get us to the place he has promised more than we actually want to get there. God desires to put us in that promised land. God desires you to do the thing he's created you to do. But sometimes there's a roundabout way. Sometimes God won't take you the shortest path or the quickest path path, God will lead you down a scenic road, down a back road trail. Sometimes it's a, it's a one lane dirt road and God will take you down these trails. Why? It's not because God doesn't want to get you there. God wants to get you there in a way that you're prepared to receive the promise that he has for you. Now, how many of you know that looks can be deceiving. Looks can be deceiving because there's really an interesting phrase here. Listen to what the last uh, part of verse 18 says. It says, thus the Israelites left Egypt like an army ready for battle. Think about that. They left Egypt like an army ready for battle. So they looked like they were ready for a battle, but God knew their hearts. 
And God said, if they're confronted with the Philistine army, if they're confronted with battle too quickly, they will not endure. They will not overcome. They will be crippled by fear and they will return to bondage. Think about that. They looked like they were ready for battle. But God said, they're not ready for battle. So I'm going to lead them in a roundabout way because I want to prepare them for the promise I have for them. So let me encourage you today. Sometimes we look in the mirror and we think, God, I'm ready. I'm ready for financial prosperity. I'm ready to get married. I'm ready to have children. God, I am ready for that new career. I'm ready for the ministry to explode. God, I'm ready. And God looks at us. And even on the outside, we might look like an army that's ready for battle. God knows our hearts. And God says, you're not ready. And it's not that I don't want to get you there. God says, I want to get you there. And I want to prepare you to walk in the promise I have for your life. So let me just share with you a quick story. Eight years ago, eight years ago, God gave us a vision, purposely gave me a vision for a multi-campus model at Liberty Church. And God birthed this vision, not only in my heart and Kelly's heart, but he began to stir it up in the hearts of our church, our leaders, and our elders. And so God gave us a vision eight years ago for a multi-campus model of ministry. And then, and then for uh, five years, years, nothing happened. For five years, we prepared and we planned and we worked and we prepared and we planned and we worked and we prepared and we planned and we worked. And I did all the things that I personally knew to do. Our church was doing all the things we knew to do to get ready for what God had for us. And it took five years and in five years, nothing happened. And I'm just going to be honest with you. I was discouraged and I was frustrated. I finally went to God and I said, Lord, if we're not going to do this, that's good. I'm good. I want to follow you. I want to do whatever you want us to do. But Lord, I felt like this was your vision and this was your plan and this was your purpose. And after five years of preparing, after five years of going around the roundabout and going around the roundabout and going around the roundabout, three years ago, Three years ago, God clarified the vision. He unlocked the vision. He gave me a new model of multi-campus ministry specifically for our church. So eight years ago, God gave us a vision. Three years ago, God unlocked the vision. And 18 months ago, come on somebody, 18 months ago, a year and a half ago, we launched our Holly Pond campus. And God has continued to show up and show out as he is working in the hearts and lives of people, winning souls, making disciples, and destroying the works of the devil, not just in Arab, but in Holly Pond, in all communities, as we continue to reach out and raise people up for the glory of God. So let me encourage you with what I started with. God doesn't always lead us on the easiest path. He doesn't always lead us on the shortest path. And he doesn't always lead us on the quickest path. But if we are following God, it's always the best path. So I want to encourage you today, embrace God's roundabout and prepare your heart for the promise that he has prepared for you. God bless you today in Jesus' name.